tube it, tube it, everybody do it. Off like a rocket, and now you can't stop it. Jan and Steve made us all believe. You can post a video, you can be the star. Millions might watch it, no matter who you are. This is Symbian of a Deity, and you're watching The Battlefield Doc. Oh, hi guys! <laughs> you caught me again in nature, right? <laughs> I'm sitting here at the bench between the wonderful birds and well, I'm here to tell you something uh, because I have a little story and I had something in my pocket on my trouser and I'm transporting it already for a while because uh, I've made this video here at the same day when I've made the video about the nature stuff. Well, um, but right now I'm here to tell you something different. Because as you're knowing, I'm collecting diecast model cars. And uh, recently, I mean, with recently I'm meaning um, October in last year, I was starting to also collect uh, the Hot Wheels stuff like uh, this year. And this particular one, I mean this here guys here, um, this is the Bone Shaker. The Bone Shaker is a model that I was uh, driving around in a PC game or Xbox game called Forza Horizon 4. Tube it, tube it, everybody do it. But also in Forza Horizon 5. Two bit, two bit, everybody do it. And I found this car so cool. I mean, just remembering um, switching gears and with the skull and everything. <laughs> it's so crazy. And well, so I was just uh, getting interested into it and I was just looking up about uh, these Hot Wheels things and I've seen there are some even quite expensive. I mean, as you can see here, um, this one I've got for uh, 1.75 euros at our Woolworths. Woolworths is always placing these stickers on it. So, well, I can open it and show it to you more closely without the package and of course I'm in nature so you know that uh, I will also take the trash with me for recycling because this is cardboard and the other thing is uh, about plastic um, well so without further ado I was just opening it and here you can see it very close now so without a package it's of course looking way better So this guys is the almighty bone shaker with the <laughs> skull in the front. We have these eight pipes there. I mean here of course only four because it's an eight cylinder and so on. And look at this, this is a hot rod. And it's a little bit crazy car. But it's really amazing. Um, these Hot Wheels cars we're also getting built sometime later, so I've seen an, a bone shaker, a real one, well, just in a video. I hope I can see it one time by myself, because this is really an amazing kind of vehicle. So this is how my love to Hot Wheels started, and well, what can we see here? <laughs> Made in Malaysia, copyright to... oh, right. <laughs> Stuff here. Um, made in Malaysia, copyright 2005, and here stands 14 Mattel. So, this is the bone shaker. And well, this particular one is, of course, not this old. I'm thinking it was, I don't know, C or F case. It is from this year, as you can see here. We have these short cards, by the way, here in Europe. In the United States you have longer cards where you can uh, see the artwork a little bit better. 
And this is also something I am loving about uh, Hot Wheels because of the artwork. It's also looking wonderful. That's also why a lot of people are collecting it uh, with the box. And here you can see some information. Unfortunately, you cannot see uh, what case it is because uh, the code of the Euros, the short cards, are a little bit different. But well, you can see this is the HW Dream Garage 2023. So this is from a box uh, in this year. Maybe there's then something else now. Only number 60 of 250. Well, and this is the bone shaker. But well, this is not the only one. I can show you more at my home because I cannot <laughs> get all the models out. But well, what are you thinking? I mean, this is also a cool uh, design here. Team Hot Wheels and what's downstairs? I have to zoom in because I have small eyes. Uh, not really, but um, oh, that was a little bit too close, guys. So what is something with awesome? Well, like I said, this is an awesome design. And this is how my love to Hot Wheels started. So my collection started uh, with uh, a bone shaker, not uh, with uh, this particular one. And uh, I will show you the one uh, which I was um, buying as the first model and I've some more of these bone shakers. I'm finding them really cool and well this is how I was becoming a collector of Hot Wheels. I mean I've of course uh, collected uh, some other die cast uh, models and so for example in scale 1 to 18 I was starting with an Opel Manta from Rivel and well, it's, it's just different to these here. These are, well, for quite a long time I was thinking these are not worth to collect because it's just toys. But I've seen also videos of other guys and I'm finally also uh, into this hobby to also collect these. Of course, I'm also collecting Matchbox and so on. And as a child, of course, I also had Matchbox and Hot Wheels. But unfortunately, not one model made it. So I have not, not one model from my childhood, but well, there's something called eBay. <laughs> so guys, um, I'm back at home and here you can see I was bringing my waste with me and I'm throwing it away like I should do. And here is, by the way, this is as far as I can remember the uh, diecast model car that was the big start around, oh, when was it, around 2000, 2000 something, I don't remember, uh, but this was the start when I started collecting and well, as you can see, I have lots more and nowadays it's all the, the stuff from Hot Wheels. Well, I'm not showing you everything right now, but here, for example, is all my stuff from Hot Wheels. Uh, I've put some of them on the wall. So here, for example, we have the Combis, very cool models. And here, Ford Cougar, then we have the Porsche 944, Cougar 944, Ford Cougar. Yeah, what am I saying? Mercury Cougar. It's the sister model or brother model of the Ford Mustang. And here, Ford Escort. Another Ford Escort is, so the other one was the Mark 1. This is the Mark 2. And here another Mark 2. This one here, I've purchased this one when my dad passed away. This is my reminder about him because uh, he was enjoying uh, in his old days he was enjoying um, the Beatles and uh, here is a Snoopy here's something from Star Wars so well but uh, the space on my walls also limited so well but here just to give you a little glimpse so this is what I was just getting also uh, when collecting these uh, Matchbox and Hot Wheels stuff and here's just my Hot Wheels stuff here Porsche 911 
Here something cool, the cool vans from Toyota 1986 van and I have it in three colors. So this is also something that I'm enjoying about Hot Wheels because well these are always changing a little bit in design and everything. And here, so well this guy is here, this was the first one I was purchasing. This one is a bone shaker from the Zero Zero series. And here's one I found at Woolworths. Well, Woolworths has these uh, price tags on it. But this, this is a long card. Uh, the long card is usually for the United States. Nowadays, Woolworths is also having the short cards here. And here, this is the model like the one I was showing you before. Uh, we have, of course, more. Here's one more. And here. And here. They have so many and this makes them so collectible because it's not just only one thing. And here guys, this here for example is a so-called um, treasure hunt. I was showing it once before in a video and you can see it just uh, there. Well, I'm trying it. There's a little flame. Here the logo there, Rise and Climb. So this is my first treasure hunt that I did not forget to take with me. Maybe it's not gaining much of value, but it's a treasure hunt. Oh, something falling down. And here's like Baja, Baja Bone Shaker. And here one more. Here, this is the, well, I'm moving back. Maybe it's easier to film from here. This is a um, Skull Shaker. This is based on the uh, Bone Shaker, but it's not the same one. And here, this one here is the, um, the, uh, what is it, Pixel Shaker. Well, so, this guy is, is it about my collection from Hot Wheels, at least on my wall. I am having plenty more. So, <laughs> but well, what I also wanted to show you is um, what was the reason about why the Bone Shaker. And I'm going to show you um, an image about that or a video clip uh, from the game Forza Horizon 4 and 5 so you will know why I was falling in love to this car because it's crazy and cool so crazy and cool is the keyword and here I am in Forza Horizon 4 and I'm here at the entrance of the village called Broadway in United Kingdom we have spring season this game has uh, four seasons uh, the seasons always starting around the next season is always starting around thursday and well here well we are here for the car this guys is the 2011 bone shaker look at this and well there stands please drive carefully and that's what i'm doing here oops well maybe not <laughs> And you can see this is uh, something what I like about this game because we have an amazing physics. Maybe it's not the most realistic one, but I'm having fun driving around here. And well, uh, what did I want to show you here? Well, there's even there's even a DLC uh, at Lego Valley. So well, let's go over it and showing you the bone shaker from the inside. So and welcome to lego valley and well i wanted to show you oi, 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 oi. not the lego valley i wanted to show you the car so oops <laughs> so here you can see again the car the 2011 bone shaker it's such a sexy car but well now i'm showing it to you from the inside so here you can see lovely 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 details see this and this here by the way is the gearing stick <laughs> amazing isn't it and well so let's start Ooh, i'm turning around 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 <laughs> and this is something that i was loving when i was uh, first playing this bone shaker when the hand is always going up to switch the gear but well this uh, cool and crazy car 
is not only available in uh, um, in Forza Horizon 4, but of course also in Forza Horizon 5. And well, what's better than showing it to you? Well, nothing is better than a jump into the world of Mexico in Forza Horizon 5. <laughs> oh, well, here the traffic is of course on the right lane. And well, so what I'm just noticing here is that uh, newer games aren't always the better games. What is this guy doing? Um, so, as you can uh, listen, I'm also switching gears here. Uh, but uh, my, well, what is it called, avatar in the game is actually not um, switching up the gear on the gear shift. Gear stick, I mean. This is, well, kind of a surprise. But anyway, so here we are in Mexico in Forza Horizon 5. And so the car is uh, quite the same as in Forza Horizon 4. Let's also show it to you from the outside. I also have different camera angles in this uh, game. Da -da -da. Here's the shaking engine. And here is a Volkswagen Golf VR6. Um, well, so here you can see it. It has the uh, special decal of the 50 years anniversary of Hot Wheels. Uh, this is my bone shaker in Forza Horizon 5. But well, there is also a... Uh, a DLC about Hot Wheels and well there I want to show you the Baja Bone Shaker so let's get into it and I will just start right now and here we are sitting inside holy moly the Baja Bone Shaker well so this is the Bone Shaker as you can see here a very similar design, uh, but uh, still different because this is the off-road version of it. There's even one with uh, monster truck uh, tires, but it's so difficult to drive and I do not have it in the game. I was just uh, playing with it on a few uh, racing tracks when, it, when I had to. But well, so this guys is the Baja Bone Shaker. So like also the one that is hanging around uh, on my wall and what we have here here's a dragon so well let's have the dragon out <laughs> so this is the uh, Hot Wheels uh, DLC I'm also switching the camera now to the inside and see this here uh, there's even a mechanism when you, as you're switching the gear so this thing actually works uh, where do I go? Maybe here. Uh, the orange tracks are also something uh, that is also at the real uh, Hot Wheels, so you can also buy it to use it for your little uh, Hot Wheels modeled cars. Um, well, so I just want to show you this uh, mechanism again. Have you seen that? Pay attention whenever I'm switching the gear. And holy moly, I'm driving like stupid. But well, so uh, whenever you see me in the game, um, <laughs> I'm very bad in driving. I can uh, drive straight when there's a turn and turning around when it's straight, so I'm really a bad driver. But well, I'm enjoying this game, but well, nowadays, not, not nowadays, I mean right now, is um, the nice weather time, so I'm of course again more outside instead of playing video games <laughs> so well this is the Baja bone shaker which is the off-roading version of the regular bone shaker and it's probably better to drive it off-road than driving it on the road 
So, well, so this is what made me curious about oops. <laughs> what made me curious about uh, the Hot Wheels Bone Shaker. So, just this game was bringing me into collecting Hot Wheels. Isn't it crazy? I mean, usually it's the opposite way. <laughs> but well, no, that's it for this video. I hope you liked what I was showing to you here. And yeah, well, drop a comment. And yeah, well, if you haven't subscribed already, then do it now. You know it. You know you want it. Do it now. <laughs> Thank you. And bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye.